Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kletu Sigbe. So today I'm going to show you how to run crime record management system using fingerprint verification. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button. And uh, if you like the video, click on the like button and also click on the notification um, belt or button so that uh, once we upload um, videos like this, uh, you know, you can always get um, a notification. Okay, so thank you very much for um, doing that. Okay, so this is how the crime registration um, form looks like. Okay, um, we have the um, image button, um, image right there. Okay, where you would need to click on the start camera just to turn on the camera and then you, you would need to capture your image. Okay, so for this, we have used OpenCV and MGCV, okay, to integrate this webcam um, module. Okay, so the um, image capturing can actually works with your it can work with your internal webcam it can work with your external webcam it can work with any cctv camera that is connected on the computer all right so for the um biometric integration we have used the digital personnel uh fingerprint um sdk all right so for you to be able to capture fingerprint you would need to get a digital personnel um, scanner okay or reader all right so that is what we have done here okay so i'm going to i'm going to close this real quick and then i'm going to log out so that I'm, i'll show you how to run this source code all from scratch okay so if you're looking for how to um enroll or capture fingerprint how to identify fingerprint how to verify fingerprint you're looking for source code online okay so this source code is right here you can um you can get it okay and you can modify it you can use it in your project okay the way you want it you're free to do that all right so i'm going to close the solution we're going to close the solution right there and uh, i'm going to exit visual studio i used visual studio 2017 okay um and also sql all right so all the fingerprint um, templates are being saved on the database all the image that uh, will be captured um on the webcam it will be also be safe on the database all right so all right so these are all the files are in there and uh, we would need to use the solution file for now so i'm going to open it with visual studio 2017 okay so before you do that make sure your fingerprint reader is connected okay Remember, I'm using digital persona fingerprint reader. All the versions of uh, this um, scan four thousand five hundred, whether it's four thousand B, any of the versions, okay, of this uh, fingerprint reader would work for you. All right. So this is what we have here. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Let's need to delete from the database. I actually deleted the file, so I'll need to complete it. Sorry. Um, let's go to bin debug. Just want to use that particular fingerprint, uh, finger. So, okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's do that okay guys so let's see how we can run this real quick all right so we have uh, our solution explorer okay with all the forms that we have designed so we have our server explorer we have our database right there and 
the tables okay so this is where the fingerprint template templates are being saved okay and uh, all of that so let's see how we can run this okay so you can click on start so once you click on start the project is um will build so for you to do that you would need to wait for it so we have the welcome page we have the admin login and we have the user login okay so the user login is to verify fingerprint so i'm going to show you how this admin dashboard or module look like so the username is admin and the password is admin okay so i'm going to log in all right so for the new admin this is where in case you have different admin officers handling this project you can actually add new admin and you sign up and uh, for the capture fingerprint this is where we, we are going to enroll um new crime okay all right so we have this right here i'm just going to fill the form real quick so my name is cletus ebay and uh, i'm just going to enter my phone number i'm going to use for demo purpose i'm going to use a random address okay uh, a tagbar since i'm in calabar I'm going to use a tagbar calabar so gender i'm going to use male date of birth i'm going to use any demo date of birth okay my height i'm going to use this nationality I'm going to use nigeria the current committed for demo purpose i'm going to use any any of those okay i'm going to use date of arrest i'm going to use that date the place of arrest i will say demo city arresting officer i'm going to say mary jane okay so the next step is to capture my fingerprint all right um before that let me before that let me um let me just capture my image first so i'm going to unplug my fingerprint reader you can position yourself very well okay i'm just making a demo um, um video so i'm just going to you know do this real quick okay once you've started the camera and you've positioned yourself click on capture So once you've captured your your um, image, so before you scan your finger, make sure the fingerprint arm reader is connected. Okay. So if it's not um, connected, you might have an error. Okay. So that doesn't stop the program from running. Once you see that, you can just log out and log in again. All right, so I've connected the fingerprint scanner. So I'm going to click on scan finger. 
All right, so using the fingerprint reader, scan your fingerprint. So we have, we need four samples, guys. We need four samples, okay? We need four samples, so, and uh, the fingerprint reader was connected. So I'm going to start capturing my fingerprint. So the fingerprint template is safe. I'm going to click on okay so the fingerprint template is safe. I'm going to click on close okay so once I click on close now the last step is to click on save. Remember we have entered all our data okay we have captured our image and uh, we have also captured our fingerprint okay so i'm going to click on save so what we are doing is we are uh, registering crime okay we are registering crime so i'm going to click on save all right records successfully safe i'm going to click on okay so automatically the record is being displayed on the um on the grid view okay the record is being displayed on the grid view as you can see the crime id um is different okay it's different because i use cryptography okay one of the um security uh features out there okay cryptography that's what i use to generate this crime id okay it can never be the same all right it's unique so this is the record that we just registered right here okay so let's go back and verify that crime um for we to do that we would need to verify the fingerprint that we just captured so instead of logging out i'm going to take myself back to the home page home okay i'm going to verify fingerprints i'm going to click on verify fingerprint so the same finger i captured that i enrolled so i'm going to place it on the scanner so guys the um, the crime has been identified the records that we already have on our database okay this is what we have it um, have here right now um, the crime or the criminal ID okay the full name of the uh, criminal the okay everything that we have here all right and the image that was captured on the webcam okay so this is how it works all right so if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell also if you like the video give us a thumbs up click on the like button okay so you can you know get the source code you can modify it the way you want if you have a project that you would that you want to um integrate biometric um, fingerprint on it you've seen how it works you can you know get the code and do that okay so i'm going to log out so i use c sharp all right visual studio as the ide we shall to do 2017 as IDE. The language is C sharp. All right. The database is L scale. This is the database. I scale. 
So if you check the app.config, app.config file, this is where we have our connection strings. Okay, so we have our connection strings. So pretty cool, right? Connection string. This is what the C sharp code looks like. Alright. Okay. So I'm gonna close this right there. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to um, click on the notification bell. Okay. So I'm going to end the video right here. Thank you very much and goodbye.